Hello guys and welcome back to another weekly vlog. I am going to the shops for a little bit. It is um, Labor Day today, so it's a holiday, but I think that this shop is open. I'm gonna pop in and get a couple of things that I need because my mum is coming over for afternoon tea. So I'm hoping they might have her favorite biscuits, but I don't know if these, they even sell them anymore. So we'll see. I went to the shops and I got some milk and I had to wait in a 20 minute lineup to get the milk because um, it's Labor Day today, as I said, and the original shop that I was going to go to was closed. And so I went to a different grocery store, but um, of course it was extremely packed because it was the only one open in my area. So I had to do that, but now I'm just waiting for mom to come. It's only like 10 minutes away or something. I just tidied up the house a little bit. Not that it's ever really that messy. I just like it being perfect when people come over. So I thought I'd give you like a little bit of a tour because I feel like I feel like house tour is really interesting, and um, a lot I have a lot of space that I need to fill. I have a lot of things that I need to do, but um, with I'll show you what I've done so far. But just remember that it is like a work in progress. So this is my lounge room. I haven't got a TV, and I'm not sure if I'll ever get one because I don't watch TV. But this is this little couch. And this is the larger couch. I got these couches on Gumtree and they were super, super cheap. They've never, ever been used. They were secondhand, so like another family had them, but they never, ever used them. So I practically got two brand new couches and it cost me $100 for both of them, which is literally insane. Everything in the house I've bought or has been gifted, but like there's only a few things that have been gifted. And all of the cushions are from Kmart. And then this throw is from Target. And then, we, oh, this um, pillow is from Target. Then I have this little table here and it's from Kmart. It was $8, guys. I am like the queen of bargaining. I guess everyone is when they move out and they have to buy everything for themselves. This candle was a gift. This candle was a gift. And both the pot and the plant are from Ikea. I have this mirror here. Hey, guys, I'm just wearing tracksuit pants. And a little t-shirt that I actually slept in. <laughs> and some rocket socks. Yeah, I have this mirror here, but I won't stay here. I just don't know what to do with it at the moment. So then over here, this part is kind of a mess. But this part is cute. So this is the desk that I used to film with at my old house. But it's also the desk that I'm going to film with at my new house. Well, like, as in here. <laughs> but um, my internet is here. And my internet modem is, like, just behind this little thing. And I wanted to hide it. So I wanted to decorate it. But this is why I had to put a table here was because the modem needed to sit on something. But I love this little part of my house. I absolutely love it. Over here, I just have my filming lights. Then over here is the kitchen. I honestly really love my kitchen. Guys, I got these new bar stools yesterday from Kmart. They were $25 each and I had a voucher and I had to return something. So I didn't pay for either of them because of the voucher and everything else. But they literally like perfectly match the uh, desk that I just showed you with the white and the wood and I love them. But yeah, this is like my little sink area and then cupboards and stuff. That's all boring stuff. I've just got my mint coat out today because I just popped it there when I got home. This is a fruit bowl. I just have no fruit in it at the moment. So <laughs> I keep my matches in there for all my candles. And that jar is currently empty as well. That's the aircon um thing then over here i actually really like this little space too because i have these um tea towels which will be in a haul soon i'm gonna do like a target and kmart haul these are from target i like it because the green here matches the green on the recipe book which was a gift this jar this book and this chopping board were all gifts like birthday and christmas gifts from my friends and then i have my knife block and then over here, I have my kettle and my toaster, and those are both from Kmart, and I didn't think they'd be that good quality because they were literally $7.50 each, but they work so well, so I'm not complaining. And then, of course, I just have my fridge. Then I have this hallway down here, and I have, like, the bathroom. This is my little side of the bathroom. It's just got a few little things on it. And then this is my room. It looks so ugly right now because I have, like, blue pillowcases and a pink blanket, but... I don't really care that much, but it's, I don't know, I'm thinking of changing up my bedding to make it like grey, pink and white, but I don't know if that's just really basic. <laughs> and I have a lot of blue things as well, so I don't know. And then I've just got my desk, which I still need to hang this up. I haven't hang, hung, hang, hung it up, I can't even talk. But yeah, this is my little desk area. And this was the verse that I was looking at today. It's Isaiah 49, 
verse 6 and I put it in one of my, I put it in last week's, at the end of last week's weekly vlog part 1. I've decided it's time to put out my Polaroid. So I've organized them in like the order of the date that they were taken because I write the date on all my Polaroids anyway. And then I'm gonna stick them up but I didn't realize how many I had and I'm like, wow, are these even gonna fit on my wall? So we'll see. Look at them all. <laughs> I finished it and it looks so good. I actually really, 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 really like it. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness. I look like Oh my gosh, look at the- oh my gosh, I looked so terrible! Please excuse my appearance. I'm at uni, I'm just parked. I literally look dead. Oh my goodness, do I really look like that? Oh my goodness. I'm at uni, it is 6.45 in the morning. I leave my house at 6 to get to uni, but um, usually I wake up at 5 so that I can get here at six. I'm sorry about the lighting. <laughs> and today I slept through my alarm. So I slept until 5.35, so I had 25 minutes to get ready for uni, which means like breakfast, shower, makeup, hair, packing my bag, packing my lunch, because I don't like to buy food here. And um, I got most of it done in the time that I had to do, but I went to go make my lunch and I've run out of like half the stuff that I usually use. And I don't know how I didn't notice before it run out because usually I'm pretty good at like keeping up with my groceries like keeping up with when I have to get stuff but apparently I wasn't this time so I'll probably have to buy food which I'm so annoyed about because I hate buying food at uni because it's so unnecessary when I have food at home but I'm just like today it doesn't look like it's gonna be a good day there's so much traffic and just everything is not going my way as of yet I'm hoping that it changes last night I had a pretty rough night as well like, things just aren't going very well right now, so I'm trying to, trying to like, yay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. You know, there's only so many bad things that can happen before you're just like, okay, okay, I'm having a bad day. I'm gonna try and have a really good day, but I don't know. I don't know how it'll go. I just feel really good. Gross. So now I'm going to go to the library and do the worksheet that I was supposed to do last night, which I didn't. And I was working all day yesterday. I worked like ten and a half hours, so I didn't really have time yesterday. So it's a bit of a bit of a rough day, but you know we can do it. We can do it. So I just arrived at work. It is like five minutes before my shift starts. Actually, a bit more than five minutes. But um, I just really don't want to go in. Do you ever do you ever do that? Like you get to work. Sorry, I was eating my dinner in the car because I got home from uni at four. And then I left for work at 4.15, so I'm, I've, after a full day of uni, I just, I don't want to be at work, but I really need to work because I have to pay my bills. So that is the current situation. I'm so tired. Oh, I had the worst sleep last night, the worst. And now I'm going to go to work until 9.30 p.m. I just really want to go to bed, but I better go, otherwise I'm going to be late. Yay full day of uni and then another like five hours of work no four and a half i don't know hello my beautiful friends today is friday and um it is like 9 a.m oh, mom mm. my fuel light just came on do i need to fill it up before we go yeah they they want to give it a test drive i'll just go it. put 20 bucks in it on the way <laughs> my fuel light just came on <laughs> that's just great but um i'm going to get my car serviced and because of that i won't have a car obviously because it'll be in the shop so mom or oh, mom actually had a day off today so i kind of like organized it with that but mom has a day off today so we're going shopping and i'm so excited because mom and i never get to spend the whole day together and that's probably the worst thing about moving out is just like not being able to see my family as much as i used to and I really, really miss them sometimes. So uh, I'm really excited about actually getting to spend like a whole day with my mum instead of just like a couple of hours, like when I go to their house for dinner or something. And um, we're going to like a big outlet store on the coast, which is like <laughs> quite a while away. But um, it's like one of those things that we never really get to go to. So I'm just really excited to spend the day with my mum. And so today is one of my only days off this week from work. I've been working a lot, and I'm working a lot next week. We're having lunch. Mum got, what did you get? I got avocado chicken bacon smash. And I got a toasted sandwich. It's got chicken, avocado, and cheese. And I'm really excited about it. It's really hot though. And I'm feeling kind of tired. It's really hot. 
Hey guys, so I'm back in my little position where I'm always doing uni work, I'm just sitting at my desk. But right now I'm doing some of my psych homework, I guess it's homework, and I'm learning about infancy and I find it really, really interesting actually, I'm really enjoying it. I haven't, <laughs> haven't done that much of it so I guess I don't really have a really good sword, I don't know, you know what I mean. But I was just reading this and it kind of made me think. Personally, I know that a lot of people will disagree with me, but personally I don't understand how people can think the world was created and everything in the world was created by a big bang. Like it honestly doesn't make sense to me because everything in this world has been so perfectly designed and placed that it's like how is that just an accident or a coincidence like I just I just can't and while I've been learning about infancy there's something that I just want to read to you guys so this is talking about infants and like how they just develop in the first few months of life so within the first month of life you've got babies with sensory equipment that is ideally suited to the job at hand they come out already being familiar with their mother's voice and preferring that voice they come out with a visual system perfectly tuned to face-to-face -face contact which enables them to recognize their caregiver, the most important person in their life. And within the first month, they recognize her smell and they thrive when they're close to her in skin to skin contact. It just like doesn't make sense to me how that can just be a coincidence. Like, how is it? Oh my gosh, my bun is so bad. <laughs> How is it just a coincidence that babies can learn all of that sort of stuff in the first month and like take one point of that for example so babies when they're born they have terrible vision it's 20 out of 500 or something which is really really bad but at one focal point they can see perfectly and that focal point is about 20 centimeters away from like their face and that is pretty much the exact distance that a mother's face is from her baby when she holds it in her arms so if a mother's holding its baby, its face is about 20 centimeters away from its mother's face. Is that not the biggest coincidence ever? That means that that baby will learn to recognize their mother or their caregiver so much quicker than anything else they will ever recognize because that is the only distance that they can see perfectly. The face of the person that's protecting them, feeding them, looking after them in general is the only thing they can actually see. Is that just not the biggest coincidence ever it's things like this that make me really believe that we have been created and like designed perfectly because to me that is just too much of a coincidence just makes me think that it just it just can't be an accident but that is my opinion and I totally understand if you have a different opinion because I am not the most educated on the scientific side of things but when I'm learning about things like this just makes me question the Big Bang Theory a little bit. But I totally respect if you have a different opinion and that's totally fine. I just thought it was an interesting thing to talk about. But I'm going to get back to work now because I have stuff to do. <laughs> I love having no time. I just arrived at George's house and she just got home and I'm so excited because she's been at work when she was in China before. But I haven't seen her since she got back from China because I've been so busy and it's made me so sad. But I'm finally seeing her and I'm so excited. She's right in front of me. Oh, she's in the car. So that's why I'm not like... I'm not just like ignoring her, like she's not just standing in front of me, but... Georgia! Georgia! Wow, that's wow. so exciting. <laughs> Quality content. Georgia is making her famous uh, smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> is it out of date? What does it say on it? The first of October, but that's if it's unopened. Refrigerate after opening, use within five days. Well, are you going to use it anyway? What are you doing? I mean, it's not lumpy. <laughs> That's your... Oh my gosh. Does it smell bad? Nope. I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> Look, if you get sick... Oh my gosh! 
What a mess. Everything is wrong. Thank you. <laughs> so she's put in ice and spinach, and she will put in milk and juice, and she's putting in mango. Is that all the ingredients? Oh my goodness, that's not that as much as I thought it was. I don't know why I thought it was more. Oh, banana? <laughs> banana. Not a lot though, I don't like banana. You don't like banana? No. So you don't put it in? No, I put it in, it's not a lot. Yeah, have you tried it without the banana? No. Is that whole side a freezer? Yeah. Oh my goodness. No, it's new, kind of. I should not include no. that. <laughs> so it is 7.30 p.m. on a Saturday night and I am still sitting here doing work. Well, like I went out to see Georgia for like almost two hours, but then ever since then, I've been back here working on my psychology. So that's fun, I'm really enjoying it. I might take a break and do some editing because I really need to do some editing, but yeah, maybe I'll do that just for now because I finished like the main part of what I had to do. So now what I'm doing is just kind of like extra work, which will actually be good because then I won't have to do as much next week because the thing is today is saturday it's my only free day because i'm i don't know if i've already mentioned this or not i'm working all day tomorrow and then i've got church and then i'm working all day monday and then i've got bible study so i won't really have any spare time till tuesday <laughs> that's fun